Hi, I'm back talking about the Rega Planar 3 again, but this time I'm introducing the Rega Neo PSU, the outboard power supply to the turntable. In my previous video, I uh, talked about the P3 LS combination, uh, the design of the turntable, the ultra lightweight construction, and went into some detail about the sound quality as well. I had also laid out some plans as to make incremental improvements uh, and observe the effect of those incremental upgrades on sound quality. Uh, I will provide a link to that video in the comments below. I invite you to please watch the video and I hope you find it useful. Um, Larry, if you're watching this, thank you for the comment. I do plan to address your questions about hum uh, towards the end of this video. Thanks again for watching. Okay, so my first upgrade is the Riga Neo PSU. So what makes this Neo PSU different from the previous versions of the uh, Riga's TT PSUs? Well, first, trickle-down technology from the RP10 flagship turntable. They use the uh, signal, digital signal processor from the RP10 which is said to control a high stability crystal to provide a signal the exact frequency that's required to run your motor at 33 and 45 RPMs. So Rega goes to uh, claim guaranteeing sonic improvements based on one, accuracy of the speed, two, um, quietness of the motor because they've minimized vibrations and thus lowering the noise floor. Uh, next, let's talk about uh, the unit itself, the front and the back. Okay, front of the unit is quite simple. Power switch, the switch to change the speeds, and at the back of the unit, your uh, wall ward plug-in, here you have your output for the turntable. It's a DIN connector. And there are switches here and the manual tells you how to use these switches. Um, and that allows you to fine tune the speed of the turntable. They even provide a tool that you insert into that spot to fine tune the speed of the turntable. Turning clockwise for increasing uh, the speed turning counterclockwise for decreasing the speed in increments of 0 0.01 RPM. So why tuning when you guarantee accurate uh, speeds? Well, the tuning is useful when your belt is worn out and that would set your speed off. And uh, using this feature, this is another unique feature when compared to the previous turntable PSUs from Riga. Next, I'm going to talk about some measurements with and without the Neo PSU. Okay, speed test time without the PSU connected. Right now, this turntable is connected at the back to just the outboard power supply. Just the stock outboard power supply. And the DIN cable is disconnected. Disconnected from uh, the Neo PSU. As you can see, still pretty good, 33.5, a little over half a percent, but still pretty good. Okay, now to run the turntable with the Neo PSU and measure the speed. DIN cables connected, the, out, the regular stock outboard power supply is disconnected. So it didn't connect it to... The PSU has its own power supply. 
units on please make sure that it's on the 33 mode this is the 45 mode when it turns green we start with 33 okay so give it some time to start up there you go stabilizes pretty accurate within 0.1%, significantly more accurate than the stock. That's the switch to the 45. Forty-five oh six again within 1%. That's 0.1%, sorry. So that's pretty good as well. Okay, so you saw the measurements um, and you saw that there was a significant reduction in error, more accuracy when we introduced the uh, Neo PSU. But so what? What does it mean? To, does it actually improve sound quality of the table? I'm telling you it absolutely does. Undoubtedly, it's not even subtle. It is really quite the improvement. Um, in my previous video, I described the sound as being punchy, full of energy, very good bass and treble extension, clear mid-range, wide stereo uh, imaging, etc. All that plus more. Now there is more definition in the extremes and, and, and there's more detail. When I say definition, uh, I mean the bass has more articulation. Uh, let me give you an example. So if you have not heard Rejoice, the album Rejoice by Tony Allen and Hugh Mascala, please go get yourself a copy. You will love it. The recording, the pressing is excellent here. Um, and on, in the stock condition, you can hear how good this recording is. But when you switch to the PSU, you start hearing textures in the drum skin you start hearing the extra shimmer and air around cymbals. Uh, there's more detail, and the detail retrieval is effortless. It seems at ease. The presentation seems at ease. It's still full of energy, but it's, it's breathing. It, it almost breathes into your living room, so to say. And I think all that is because of the reduction of the noise floor. They brought it down so the details are coming through. Um, so, um, if you're on the fence of whether to buy this or not, will it offer sound quality? It's a definite yes, according to me. Um, thank you for watching. And um, Larry, I'm going to address your question about the hum. I personally have not had any issues with hum whatsoever when it comes to the P3 and LS pairing. And even when I switch other cartridges. I do have friends who have experienced hum. And it's a few things you gotta check out first. First thing I would do is, I would check and see if the leads into the uh, cartridge are fitting snugly. They have to be a snug fit. Um, and there are times when the uh, source of the hum in my friend's systems have been traced down to interconnects. When they swapped out interconnects that connect their preamp to power amp or from the phono stage to the preamp or the integrated, the hum went away, indicating that the uh, cable, the interconnects, were the issue. Um, there are times when you have a big transformer close to the power supply or the motor that also might introduce hum. Um, there is also the situation where you have a ground loop um, and one of the components is introducing hum in your system. You have to go through, there's no other way but to go through and unplug different components uh, with the turntable and the amplifier on, of course, to see if the hum goes away. Um, and if you Find the particular unit that is actually introducing hum into the circuit. Go and uh, start playing with the interconnects. 
right? Swap out the interconnects and see if you get rid of the hum. Um, one other trick that we've tried is a ground cable as well. So you get a ground cable, attach it to the chassis of one of your components at the back, they'll have a screw. And then attach the other end, if you slightly unscrew the screws that fit, that mount the tone arm, unscrew them slightly, slip the other end of the ground wire in and put it back down so, so it gets uh, contact with metal. And uh, try that, that might solve hum issues. But um, like I said, I have had quite a few Riga turntables um, from the P24 to the older P324s to the P5s, I have not faced a hum issue so far. I have had hum with other components and other turntables, but them too, I traced it down to um, a large transformer being close to the power supply of the turntable, but not the Riga. I hope that answers your question. Thanks all. Um, if you found this video uh, information, uh, informational to you and useful to you, please subscribe. There's more to come. I'm going to add more content, uh, not only just upgrades the turntable and discuss the improvements in sound quality, but other turntables and other hi-fi gadgets as well. Thanks for watching.